Hey guys, welcome to Aaron's Automotive. Today's video, I'm going to be uh, trying to clean up the carburetor on this truck a little bit. My 82 GMC Crew Cab. It's got the 350 small block Chevy, turbo 400 trans. Uh, I was looking for, for seafoam, couldn't find any. And all I could find was this STP multi-purpose motor treatment. Uh, the carburetor on here was from a junkyard and tried to clean it up a little bit with some carb cleaner, but it didn't really work the greatest. It's still hesitating a little. So I figured I'd try and run this through it. So I'm gonna pop my hood. Take off the air cleaner. I'll place this off the ground on the side. And I like to pull off his base as well. It just gives me easier access. Pull off the vacuum hose. Plug off the vacuum line so there's no vacuum leak anywhere. Grab the treatment. So, nice thing I found about this stuff is it's got a little spout on it built into it. So, pop that off, pop the cap off. It's still sealed as you can see. Crack that open. I've used seafoam before on vehicles and they've worked wonders. Never used this STP stuff before. So this looks like it can just screw on so we can pour. So now what you need to do, with this cap and stuff out of the way, you fire up the vehicle. And it's probably going to be hard to hear me talking over the engine noise and the fan and stuff. So I'll just explain to you what I'm going to do right away. I'm going to fire up the vehicle, I'm actually going to pour the STP, the motor treatment, right down into the carburetor here. I'm also going to open up the secondaries and pour the treatment into the secondaries as well. So, fire up the engine and then I'll put you guys down. So, it's also going to cause a fair bit of smoke to come out of the tailpipe. So. That started. So. It's going to be a little hard to hear me, so I apologize about that. just to stall the engine out so put about uh, half this can into here and you can kind of see the smoke haze that it's leaving already so with this I just need to let the uh oh yeah you can even see where you have any exhaust leaks you can see right there is a little exhaust leak so with this now we're going to let it sit for 
10, 15 minutes. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to treat it the same way I do with sea foam. Uh, so let it sit 10, 15 minutes. And we'll come back, we'll fire up the vehicle, and we'll put it into, uh, into high idle so that I can burn off any of the carbon, build up any of the grime that's in the carburetor. This should help break up the carbon, the, uh, the varnish that might be in there and stuff. Uh, I don't know how long this carburetor has sat at the junkyard for. So this will help clean that up real well. So in fact, I'm going to put this down again. And I'm going to pour just a little bit uh, into, the, into the secondary. It's going to open them wide up. And pour a little right into there. I can do this. A little in there. A little in here. It's been the secondaries that have actually been giving me the issues. So that should help it out. All right, so I'll come back in about 10-15 uh, minutes. Oh, another note, I guess, while we wait for that stuff to, to do its thing. I'm actually going to take the rest and dump it right into my fuel tank. That's about the other half of the bottle. And that'll help clean out anything that might be in the fuel lines. Um, I have dual tanks on this truck. Fortunately, there's only half a bottle left, and this is the only tank that right now has gas in it. So this will help work uh, the rest of the stuff through the system. Oh, there's still a little left in here. gas cap back on close the gas cap and now we wait so yeah we'll come back in about 10 minutes now all right so it's been mm, been about 20 minutes it is now 10 to 2 so this at 1:30. so just getting ready to fire up the vehicle uh, it's going to be flooded, so it'll be a little hard to start. And when it does, there'll be a lot of smoke coming out of this tailpipe. So I've got to sit in the vehicle manning the throttle. So I'm just going to put this down. And I'm going to fire it up. You guys will be able to see all the smoke that comes out of the tailpipe. And carbon buildup and, and whatnot. So... That smoke is usually a sign that it's burning off the carbon. So I guess we'll fire it up now.
probably want to run this until the exhaust comes out normal again. That's, uh, now it's in high idle about uh, 1800 RPM. Uh, I was revving it up to about 3200 RPM just so that secondaries could open, you know, basically wide open throttle so that it could burn off some of that carbon, some of that varnish inside of the secondaries. So now it's just going to stay in, uh, in high idle like this until the exhaust clears out. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll just resume once the exhaust is clear on it. You can already see that it's starting to clear up quite a bit from what it was even just a couple minutes ago. As you can tell, I do have an exhaust leak right around here. See, it's right around 1800 RPM. So, just come back and show you the finished results. All right, so the exhaust in the truck is now cleared up. It only took about another, well, I'll show you the time. Get the watch out of the sun. Well, it is 2.04 now, so yeah, five after two, it's all cleared up. The engine is uh, idling much, much smoother now. I just went ahead and put the, uh, the air cleaner base, the air filter and the cover back on. Hooked up the vacuum lines again. And there we have it. That is, close the door, that is the STP, multi-purpose engine treatment, or motor treatment. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a, bleh, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Alright, so I just want to give a quick update I didn't take a video of me driving it around the block or anything but uh, after doing the STP uh, engine or motor treatment uh, I took the truck around the block and on the highway and the throttle response that this, that this gave out of it honestly it, it cleaned up the carburetor wonderfully I'm, I'm very impressed with how well it worked uh, I've used seafoam before and I've used the B12 uh, motor treatment and honestly I think that the uh, that the STP has is probably one of the best ones that I've actually used so far in uh, in any of my vehicles. So I just wanted to throw this little uh, little clip into here just to tell you about that. Uh, I apologize that I didn't actually get to take the video of it down the road. Uh, I'm video recording this using my tablet, and it's kind of hard to you know hold the tablet up while I'm while I'm driving, especially with the hands-free device laws out here, I, you know, getting pulled over for something like that would cause a very hefty ticket. So, uh, yeah, but I, I'm honestly impressed with it. It cost me $10 for the bottle at Walmart, and honestly, it's a, it's a great thing to do to your vehicles, I, I, I believe. Um, Especially if you've got a, you know, if you've got an older vehicle, it's got high miles on it, you know, if you've got a carburetor that's dirty. Seems to burn off the carbon, eat everything away that's in there. Cleaned up my cylinder walls. I'm assuming that it's cleaned up the cylinder walls and burnt off the carbon inside there as well. So, so yeah, if you uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment below, or subscribe for more content. Thank you.